A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Luke chapter 6 verses 6 to 11 Passage taken from the message version of the Bible On another Sabbath he went to the meeting place and taught There was a man there with a crippled right hand The religious scholars and Pharisees had their eye on Jesus to see if he would heal the man hoping to catch him in a sabbath infraction he knew what they were up to and spoke to the man with the crippled hand get up and stand here before us he did then jesus addressed them let me ask you something what kind of action suits the sabbath best doing good or doing evil helping people or leaving them helpless he looked around looked each one in the eye he said to the man hold out your hand he held it out it was as good as new they were beside themselves with anger and started plotting how they might get even with him the gospel of the lord Reflections on the Gospel according to St Luke chapter 6 verses 6 to 11 We have already seen the meaning of the Sabbath as a day of great joy intended to be spent in prayer listening to the word of God and sharing meals together in short a time spent with the Lord But over many years of religious practices the rabbis interpreted the scriptures in the way that suited them best it became a day of obligation more than a day of great celebration immediately following the incident of plucking the grains in the corn field luke records another confrontation of jesus with the religious leaders also on a sabbath day he heals a man with a withered hand in the synagogue Luke narrates that the scribes and the Pharisees in the congregation were watching him to see whether he would heal the man on a sabbath day so that they could accuse him of breaking the law. The text implies that the detractors of Jesus knew by now that a needy person would not go unnoticed before Jesus. They indeed expected him to do good. There is something important in this passage that calls our attention as Christians. By our very identity as followers of Christ, people around us expect us to behave in a certain way. The world is watching us. Perhaps it's a trap, but they expect us to act in a certain way doing good. When our actions and attitudes do not match the teachings of Christ when we omit the good works expected of us we give a wrong witness to Christ practicing a profession or trade was prohibited on a sabbath day healing the sick was a medical profession and therefore was forbidden on the sabbath both Jesus and the Pharisees are stressing on the law but their understanding of the law is different For Jesus the law must be performed to promote life and support good but for the Pharisees obedience to the law is more important than the intended outcome Jesus calls on the leaders of the religion to amend their legalistic attitude to become more empathetic and compassionate to the needs and sufferings of people The gospel poses a challenge for us Christians today. Sometimes we find ourselves in situations where contemporary Pharisees try to put the church into a straitjacket of narrow-mindedness and fundamentalism. On matters of celebration of the liturgy, interpretation of the scriptures, issues on morality and teachings, there are people who put the letter of the law 
regulations and rubrics before the commandment of love. For them it is more important to observe the externals of the rules than to be a loving person. The God of Jesus was a liberating, inclusive and merciful God. We are invited to discover the consequences of believing in such a God.